Uh, in the studio with me, I've got poet Richard Harris. Good afternoon, Richard. Good afternoon, Rich. <laughs> How are you? It's, I'm great, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm so thank you for coming in all the way from um, the wonderful Withensea. Yes. You've, uh, My goodness, you managed to say it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Most you. people in hell say with the with the with the with the And you, I, I, obviously, I, I know you well through the poetry scene, and that's kind of why I asked you asked you in today. Um, but also uh, through obviously uh, uh, social media and Facebook, you are one of these people who does kind of promote within C quite often. You, you know, you do stand up for the place. I yeah, guess. I do. Yes, I, I. Well, we went there for a brief holiday. We got one of these uh, cheap deals where you got four days, and we'd never heard of within C. Um, and uh, we came from Leeds, and um, off we went. We got I had five days in Filey, then four days in Withensea, and halfway through the holiday, my wife said to me, you know, I could live here, and I said, so could I, and we went back home, put that, we just retired, right. put the house on the market, and more or less, that was it. And, retired um, to the seaside. And we, we come from a little town called Morley, which is South Leeds, and it's a Victorian town with a main street called Queen Street, where the shops are, it's got parks, it's got, oh, guess what, it's with Morley, is is within is a landlocked it's, within it's, sea. It's, yes, exactly. <laughs> within sea is Morley on sea. It's got a beach. Morley on sea. I like it. Brilliant. Yeah. So <laughs> it's it's remarkable, and it's I I like um, classic films, and and I like Kay Kendall, and I was aware that Kay Kendall. Oh, of course, Kay yes, yes, yeah. And I knew that she had a museum in a lighthouse. I just didn't know. The fa Genevieve, is that the famous film she was in? Genevieve. Yes, yes. The, I, I, the memories, all these, she, these facts she are made in a there somewhere. Big Hollywood musical called Lay Girls, um, with um, not Fred Astaire, the other one, um, and Gene Kelly, and uh, Leslie Phillips was in it. But um, it, yeah, and it's a fabulous museum because I expected to go into this lighthouse and have a sort of fairly crappy. Yeah, as you do, a yeah. A couple of books. Yes. And there's all her clothes and there's all her furniture. Right. And it's it's absolutely stunning. And the upper the upper floors are all R and I and maritime stuff. So it's really worth going to see, but it's a fabulous place. I should, I mean, you, you've actually sold Windsor to me again. I've not been for many years. Um, no, well, not since I've been back in the UK, which is nearly five years now. Um, but you have completely sold it to me. And I think this summer I'll take, I'm going to take my lad up to Windsor. Very get, good. get the bus. Yeah. Up there, you know, and, and however many hours it takes my bus to get up it's there. It's an hour and a quarter. Is it? Okay. It's the 18 minutes I'm told the train took. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bring back the train. Oh, monorail. The monorail yes. to Withensea. Um, like I say, we've, we're going to get, have you, you've brought in some poems for us to read, um, which we'll, we'll get to in a while, uh, about you, you record um, a lot of your poems and put them on YouTube. Yes. Well, first... First of all, it was just to leave a footprint behind me. And my mum died when I was 13, and I don't remember her voice. I'm 65, you can't see, can you? But, you know, I, <laughs> it's a long time ago. And I can't, I can't remember her voice. Mm. Um, and I just thought my granddaughters uh, would love when they were grandmas to yeah. so say, this was my beloved granddad, and he wrote this. And some of them are uh, about them, and some of them are about games I play with, with, with my granddaughters. Right. So um, that was what started me putting them on, and I thought I'd have 100 hits or something like that, and it was really just to leave a, a footprint. Yeah. Um, but now I've had 90,000 hits. Wow, 90,000. Uh, 90,000 hits. Well, you're saying you have about, you have about, uh, it's about 200 poems yeah, on your channel. Yeah, I think there's 230-something on. Right. And I don't put them all on now. I, I put two on this year. And we're in February. It's about every every six or eight weeks I add another one. Right. But then, you know, something, I've got one about Valentine's Day now. I'll just recirculate sure. that. You know, it's already on. So yeah. it, to people who watch my page, they probably think there's more than one every six weeks. But no, but I genuinely put one on. Yes. I didn't even put a Christmas one on because I have so many Christmas poems. Uh, I've made a vow never to write another Christmas poem. <laughs> Please don't. But the trouble is with me, I get an idea and it just states in my head. And I decide sometimes, no, I won't write that. And then it just writes itself. So okay. I, I end up typing. So it comes out editing. anyway. It comes out. It's like a gestation, a right. painless, painless, physic physically painless gestation. And, you know. It's... Well, so talking about, obviously talking about poem, I want to hear some of your, your poetry. Um, you, 
Banksy. <laughs> the, <laughs> the topic, the topic of the past ten days, or when however long it's been yes. now since uh, since it appeared on the bridge, um, on not Scott Street Bridge. I mean, we call it Scott Street Bridge. It's actually on Jennings Street, um, not Scott yeah. Street. But that's just a, a minor fact there, just to sort of address um, when people do mis mislabel the name of that bridge. Um, but you obviously felt uh, you felt inspired. Um, by the uh, the artwork and the kind of the I guess the, yeah, the I mean, circus around it. I'm not a, a, a Banksy it. expert. So I know considerably more about him ten days later than I. Did I think many then. many people do. But I mean, I'm on lots of whole sites, including uh, one hull of a city. Thank you for and, the shout out. Um, that was a brilliant site. Everyone join it. And um, <laughs> uh, so I I joined joined in the general enthusiasm and. I write when I'm moved. I can I be sad, outraged, furious, joyful, happy, irritated, you name it. But if it's moved me, I can write. And this was quite a joyous, exciting experience. And by the Monday morning, as I said, it was gestating. It was a gestation it was happening. Round, so I had to get something down on paper. And so I sat and wrote it. And then I edited it and re-edited it, as you do. Um, and... Um, I thought, well, actually, I might as well record it now and put it on now because yes. this is when strike while the iron's hot. It will be interesting. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in, in a month's time or two months' time, uh, me saying, "Hey, we had a Banksy in L two months ago." It, it will have the impact. <laughs> it will. Be, it would be yesterday's, uh, you know, yes. tomorrow's chip paper kind yes. of deal. I mean, this is the thing about the Banksy. There's all this furor and all this kind of circus around it, and you know, it being defaced and then cleaned, and it, it's such a roller coaster ride and such a drama. Uh, and there was a lot of people gone. Oh my lord! You know, I had enough of the whole Banksy thing. And it, and it, as I've said to a lot of people, you, I think back to the, around this time last year when we got when the blade arrived, yeah. and it was similar then. You know, the the, the social media, it's all people wanted to talk about. And it's explained to people, it's okay. Let people breathe and let people enjoy the moment. And it'll go in a few days' time. They'll be talking about why council haven't emptied their blue bins again <laughs> and, 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 and potholes and the usual stuff people talk about on social media. Um, true to life, I, I have lost six stone. Right. I was a Were very you? large person. Um, and I'm the sort of person that's got to be careful what they eat. Um, and some people don't seem to have that problem. Um, I, I'm... I'm I'm sorry to say, but I'm one of those people yes, that doesn't have to. Yes, I can look at you. I can see that, yes. <laughs> uh, and this is, it's not fair. Went shopping in Asda. Bought a punnet of peaches, stood in the queue thinking of how I'd been good and not bought bad, sweet or sugary stuff. Nothing with fat in that day. In front of me, a slim, oh so slim man, about ten years younger than me. Then I saw his shopping. Oh, it's not fair. How can it be fair? How? Chocolate. Six multi-packs of penguins and the like. Lard. Yes, lard. Two blocks. Bottle of whiskey. Sixteen cans of beer. And a huge pack of liver. Maybe to fry. Yes, a thin man bought this lot. A very thin man. Oh, it's not fair. Really, it's not. <laughs> I was going to say that sounds like my shopping basket, but not not the liver. I'm not I'm not a fan of liver at all. But, but the lard. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the lard. And then we went in. Just, to, reminds me. It reminds me. It all gives me shivers down the spine. Reminding me of my mother's terrible cooking when I was a child. Uh, lard, lard and liver. Oh dear lord. Okay, you got another one for us. Yes, and uh, you know, I, I'm a certain age. I'm 65, as I've, me I've mentioned. I can't believe I got to 65. It just seems bizarre. Um, and went to Malta uh, on holiday, and the buses there are very, very busy. It's happened. When? It's got here. When and how? A pretty, young, blonde girl seated on a bus. She smiled at me. I was flattered and pleased. She stood up, gave up her old seat to the old man, me. It's happened. How? When? Why? And then it happened again. And again. <laughs> and again. 
Brilliant. And of yeah, course, so, okay. having lost the weight, I was feeling good about myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a funky young dude. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, you, someone gets up for you. Oh, it's going to come to us all one day when somebody gives yeah. us the seat on a bus. Oh, no. Come on, my dear, you sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being called my dear. I can see it. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> you have another one? Well, yes, this, this is... One, uh, this one's got some... Uh, is this the Lord... This is about the Lord, Lord line, line building. I have a very good friend, Jean Jensen, who is uh, listening now. And Hello, she, Jean. She um, is an amazing woman with a huge amount of energy, and she's part of an action, the Action for Her group, which I am a member of. And she um, uh, introduced me to the Lord line building and, and its problems, and I wrote this poem, and it was part of a... Um, exhibition at uh, Witham um, and I actually, not many people can say this, when I wasn't there reciting this poem to people, I was a hologram on the wall reciting it P in pardon? my absence and this is, we must save it the Lord Line Building well, just, just stop me, you were a hologram well, projected, yes Right. Uh, the, the, it was a fantastic exhibition at the Anison Buildings oh uh, right, yeah, yeah, uh, I know the buildings and, uh, very well had, um uh, sculptors who did maritime things and uh, they had painters and they had photographers and then they had my poem and they got me filmed and they projected me onto the wall but when I was there I walked they, they, I, it was really quite funny I, I would walk around and say excuse me hello um, you're enjoying the exhibition yes well I'm not mad I, I am the, the living part of the exhibition I have to um, I've been asked by Jean <laughs> Jensen to um, uh, read some poems, one of which was about the Lord Line building, but I've got quite a lot about Hull because I've just fallen in love with the place. And the Lord Mayor of Hull, who was a lady, arrived late and she said, oh, I'm sorry, I've missed your poem. I said, don't worry, you can have a private reading. <laughs> and at the end of it, she said, well, that was lovely. P pity I haven't got any others. And I said, oh, don't worry, I've got a folder. I've got, a few. <laughs> I've got quite a so, few. So, so she had a private <laughs> concert. Um, but uh, so, yes, uh, even when I wasn't there, because it went on for a few weeks, mm. Um, and you, you can't be there all day, every <laughs> every day. Sure. Although I'm sure Jean was. Um, and uh, so I do. she said she was going to listen. I do hope that she's listening. Let's hope. She's had four name checks, hasn't she? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> um, and this is We Must Save It, the Lord Line Building. It stands there dominating the skyline, defining the area it must be saved. All else has been demolished into piles of rubble, leaving a wasteland and a B&Q. Land new buildings with no history. The Lord line is of Hull and must be saved. No demolition. People power will save it. It is of Hull. It was targeted by the planners, by the council for destruction. But protest from the people has stopped that so far. But lack of action and vandals threatened it now. In these times of austerity, we struggle and strive to save it. This fine building on St Andrew's Dock, from whence sailed hundreds of thousands of our fishermen, on their trawlers, like the Viola, all serving us, many never to return. We must save this historic building and keep its essence and glory forever alive. Thank you very much. The Lord. Was that one's called? Was that one's called? That one? We, we must, must save, save it. it. There we go. We must save it. And there and is that's obviously. On YouTube. And I, I'm aware of the campaign um, to save the building. Yes. All you all you have to do for, to find my poems is. Type Google in, go well, you know, you, Google and RC poems. R for Richard, C for Charles. Poems, all one word. All one word. RC poems. Yes. Okay. And it's that ridiculous name because my son-in-law created the channel. <laughs> and Richard Harries was the Bishop of Oxford and is now Baron ha Harries of Pembroke. All oh, right. And if when I put my first three poems on. He had 1,600 sermons and speeches, and you could, even I couldn't <laughs> find them. And, of course, add, add that into Richard Harris, the actor. Of course, add, yes. Add that into the fact that he was in Harry Potter films. You can, you then oh, it was Dumbledore, yeah. Yes, yeah. you then have something like 30,000 Richard Harris and Richard Harris, so I just gave up and went with R.C. Poe. Fair enough, yes. <laughs> it's why it's why I obviously refer to myself as, or, or, well, it is my name, I, I don't sort of, I haven't made it up, um, but why I use um, Sharp Wilson rather yeah. than just Richard Wilson because of the actor, and it just got yeah. very tiring. Um, yeah, people yeah. turning around, you say, what's your name? You go, it's Richard Wilson, and people go, 
I don't believe it. And it just years and years of everyone thinking it was the first time they'd ever made that, or I'd heard that joke be made. So hence, since why I'm Rich Sharp Wilson. (laughs) 